So today we will be solving lead code 1293 that is shortest path in a grid with obstacles elimination. So this is a hard level question and quite a popular one because this has been asked by Google in the interviews. And in this question we are provided with a m cross n integer matrix and each cell of the matrix consists of values either 0 or 1 where 0 represents empty and 1 represents obstacle. We can move up, down, left and right. And we have to return the minimum number of steps to walk from the upper left corner that is 0, 0 to the lower right corner that is m minus 1 and n minus 1 cell. Given that we can also eliminate at most k obstacles and if at the end of the whole traversal we are not able to find any path then we will be returning minus 1. So this was the question and in this example we can see that shortest path was uh, equivalent to 6 steps with k equals to 1. So let's try to visualize this example and understand how we can solve this question. So as you can already see in these diagrams there are multiple ways, multiple paths that we can take and we can go from starting point to ending point. So these were all the paths that we can take. And we have to return the minimum one. Like these two are equivalent and these are the minimum. So we will be returning this value. Now as the question suggests, we have to return the shortest path with which we can uh, reach our end or the rightmost corner, lower rightmost corner, this position, right? So how we are going to solve this question? We will be solving this question using BFS. There are multiple people who will be uh, solving this question with different approach. But today in this, so in BFS, we already know that we traverse in level order traversal format, right? So we traverse firstly one level, then proceed to next level, then third level and this way the whole traversal takes place. So we will be doing the same thing. For that we know that in DFS we use queue data structure so this will be our queue. And we will also be using visited set to check uh, if we already visited that particular set so we won't be doing the same repetitive work. So let's try to traverse this given metrics and we will try to understand how we are going to utilize the queue and visited set and also not only we have to do simple BFS because in this case we are not only finding the path but we have to eliminate obstacles using k equivalent to 1 and also we have to keep a check of number of steps that we are taking when we are walking through this matrix. So let's see. So now firstly we will initialize our queue with this position because we are going to start moving from this position. So what is this position is? This is row is 0, column is 0 and our steps are also 0 right now. And after this what we will be doing? We will be adding the k value that is 1. So this will be our first value. Similar thing we have to do in the visited set. We will be keeping check of our row, column, and what was the k value at that point of time okay so this is one thing now what we are going to do we are going to see where we can proceed so we can see we can either proceed in this direction or in downward direction because this direction is out of bound and same goes with this one as well this is also out of bound so where we will be going we will either be going right or down so Firstly, we will pop this value from our queue. Okay, we got it. We will be popping this value from our queue. Now we are saying that we are going to traverse. We are going to traverse in this direction and in this direction. So we will add these two places in our code, in our queue. So what is the position in this block? This block will be this block will be row 0, column 1 steps is also increased by 1 and as we hadn't utilized our k so it will be as it is that is 1 right we are checking this value this is row this is column this is a step and this is k okay now what else now we are not only checking this position but we are also proceeding to this direction right 
so we know that we have to add this as well in our queue like we will be moving we will be checking the path from this cell as well that, that that's why we are adding this uh, cell values so a row will be one column will be zero steps will be increased by one and and because this is obstacle and k value is greater than zero that's why we are capable of proceeding this path and we will be utilizing our k here and it will become zero so fine we are done with this cell and all the possible positions right and as we added these two values in our queue so what we have to do next we have to add these values in our visited set as well this will be row 0 column 1 step k 1 this is for this value then for this value what will be the uh, visited set it will be 1 0 and 0 okay so our visited set is done our queue is done and as we had already traversed this block so now let's just remove now what we are going to do we are going to pop this value from our set so now this is the current status of our queue as we pop this value so now we are going to check for this position so which one is this position row 0 this is the position right so now let's see in what all directions we can move from here we can either go in right direction down direction or in backward direction so we can see that this this position this cell is already there our visited set it is already there in our visited set so we won't be traversing this again right because we can see it is row 0 column 0 and k is 1 so we can see we don't have to traverse this again but we can see the right and the uh, lower cell is not being visited yet right and we can see in right direction if we are going to proceed so what will be the values values will be somewhat like this it will be row 0 column 2 and steps will be increased again so it will become 2 and k value is as it is because we hadn't utilized it okay then if we are going to move in downward direction then what will be the value in that case we can see we require firstly k right because this is an obstacle so are we having enough value are we having enough uh, elimination capabilities so we will check our k values so k is greater than 0 so yes we do have so we will add this as well into our queue okay so what will be the value it will be row 1 column 1 steps 2 and k is utilized so it will become 0 so in this way we proceeded in this direction again we will be adding these values to our visited set as well so it will become what it will become 0 2 1 and 1 1 0 so this will be our visited set in this uh, situation in the same manner we will be proceeding in rest of the cells and we will be traversing through rest of the cells and keep check of the path and try to finish it off like we will now go to this this cell and we will check what all are the possible uh, direction we can move then we will also check if they are already visited then we won't be proceeding again then we will come up to this direction again we will check all the possibilities here as well do the same thing here as well do the same thing and at the end as we are always keeping check of our row and column we will check if our row and call value is the value which is of this cell is the position of this cell where r is equivalent to r minus 1 and c is equivalent to if r and c are indicating this cell then what we are going to do we will be returning steps okay if r and c are referring to this cell the position that we have to reach the destination where we have to go then what we will be doing we will be simply return these steps 
so steps will be written at that point of time so this is the bfs and how we will be keeping values in our queue in our visited set and how it is going to help us to traverse our whole array so now let's jump to coding part and we will see how we can code this whole solution so the very first thing is firstly we want the rows and columns length right so this will be length of grid columns length will be length of grid zero okay now what, what we have to do we know that we will be checking in all the four directions so rather than repeating and writing all the four directions somewhere else we will define it here itself that is one zero will be the first coordinate then it will be minus one and zero then it will be zero one this will be this will be zero and minus one okay so we defined our directions now we know we will be using a queue so we'll create a queue dq after that we will append the first position in the queue as we already saw in the dry run that we were doing at first what will be the rest of the values will be equivalent to zero and k will be as it is then we also used our visited set so let's create that as well and now we will run a while loop so this will be our queue so to the point where there are uh, values in our queue we will continuously run this loop now what we have to do first thing we will be popping the element from queue so once we pop the value we will get these values from it right let's name it rq so this will be q dot pop left so we will left first and we will be getting row column steps in uh, rk the k value which is left for that path so now we will check if r is equivalent to rows this is something that we have to uh, consider because if we are at the lower rightmost corner then we have to return the value right so we will be checking that if we are at that position so if we are at the end so simply return the number of steps else proceed so for what we have to proceed now we have to check in all the four directions right for x and y in directions so we are saying now check for the new row new row will be row plus y new column new column will be column plus new uh, x right now we have to check if if the new row is greater than zero and new row is less than length of uh, length of or we can also write rows because we already defined it and new column should also be greater than zero and new column should also be lesser than calls right also if this value is not visited right we also have to check that so new row new column and this rk is not invisited then only we will check else we won't be checking it so if grid new row new column is equivalent to one so if it's an obstacle and rk value is greater than zero then only we can proceed because if we don't have k value greater than zero then we won't be able to eliminate that obstacle right so we will check this condition so now if we do have k then what we will do we will simply visit that value we will add it in our visited set and do our this is stupid okay now what we will do now we will append it in our queue 
so this will be q dot append n r n c and steps steps plus one as we already visited this so our steps will be increased and r k will be subtracted because we utilized it if this was not the case then what will be the case case will be lf grid n r n c is equivalent to zero so if it's zero so what we have to do so we have to do just We have to again do the same thing that is visited dot add and this will be and then q dot append in q dot append it will be nr nc steps plus one and rk i just realized that these two values are same visited lines are same so we can keep this out of this if and elif this will look something like this and at the end we will check if if there was a possible path then we would have returned in this condition right but somehow if there is no path then at the end of this loop what we will do we will add our return statement as minus one and this was the whole code now let's try to submit this okay we made a mistake and what is this okay this is and and here we can see that this code works well and there were few typos that are corrected so we can see this code is efficient and i hope this video was helpful so if this video was helpful for you all then you can like my video and subscribe my channel and i will soon come up with next question so thanks for watching